It was very cute so far. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hello, everybody. This is Helix. And this is Metatron. And <coughs> we are playing Dream Daddy. We decided last uh, last episode that we are a cute, chubby trans dad. Yes, we are a cute, and chubby trans dad we with are a wonderful With an adorable daughter, daughter that we are super proud of. And we are now moving into this really cute pink house. Yes. So we've done a fair amount of the intro. Like, the intro technically includes introducing all of the dudes. And I think we should try to get through that. This, yeah, all this right, one. let's do it. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mowed and the for sale sign is still in the yard. It's not for sale anymore. Hey ya! Ah, did you got did you break something already? Yes. And with a swift kick for Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Yeah! <laughs> nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority! <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> I love their Holy relationship. Shit. Their relationship. I am my is, own father. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Their their relationship is so pure, and it's very, very similar to what the kind of relationship we have with oh. our father. And so that's why I love this game so much. Is just their relationship is so wonderful. Huh. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich, an ice cream sandwich, sweetie. It's 10 a.m. Yeah, so? That's a good it's dairy. Yeah, I, Did you even see all the dogs in the park here, <laughs> You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog-to-person ratio is very high. <laughs> it's kind of like our neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many dogs <laughs> so in our neighborhood, you guys. Dogs. <laughs> oh, my God. I only want what's best for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell, Dog! And rock it way up. <laughs> or two rocket way up. Uh, I mean, you do that a lot already. Hey, it's a dog! Hmm. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Zhoo! <laughs> and then now that I began to stroll through the neighborhood, I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts in the air. Heck yes. Ah. That is very frequent that, here. That's a really cute street. It is a it's cute so street. so clean. Oh, right. <laughs> it, uh, it reminds me kind of that place where that one, that ramen place is. Oh, yeah. Where, like, the, it was super, like, super clean, and every... Every little business had potted plants yeah, out front. Yeah, and it was a, like they, they were the squished together businesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything was a little shop. That was cool. The ramen was good, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This place is nice. Huh? Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes roll through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over it to a, over to it when those mushrooms are chanterelles. You can eat them. <laughs> They're delicious. She's talking about these right here. Yeah, those are chanterelles, dude. That's what they're shaped like. <laughs> There's some over there too. Mmm, this park is delicious. <laughs> Heads up! <laughs> okay. Hey. Ow! I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that one <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! <laughs> ah! Sorry, I love corgis. I do love corgis. <laughs> Hi, friend. Hello, They're friend. even better with little handkerchiefs. Hi, friend. The corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Ah, it's a new friend. <laughs> I like your necktie. Ruff! <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. <laughs> Bark up on me, your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof! <laughs> How long do I have left? 
What's that? I'm already too late? My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. <laughs> Break the fourth wall there a little bit, friend. <laughs> You're right. I am the master of my domain, for fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. You definitely could have caught that. Bro. Bro. Oh, you're cute. Yeah. Hello, lumberjack daddy. <laughs> a guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I'm doing good. I've got crap in my throat. You can do it, baby. You can do it. <clears throat> you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. <laughs> Well, you're traditionally not supposed to eat some people's hats. Catch up with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> Good choice. No! What the <laughs> fuck were the implants? <laughs> so there's the... There's... If you do a bad um, choice, it, it's a, a wave of black that comes out of them. Oh, no. If you do a good choice, it's hearts. And if you do a really good choice, it's hearts and eggplants. Eggplants being... Dick. R really? Yes. H has anybody ever seen an eggplant? <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? <clears throat> but that's actually a common kind of... I have kind two of... in my refrigerator right now, and if they're shaped like dicks, I've been doing I... something wrong. I know, but they're, they're a common um, uh, visual... Um... Is it like an emoji thing? Yeah. Kind of. Because they didn't have cucumbers? I guess. I don't know. Okay. It, it's also, like, it's... Just, it's very prominent in, like, just as a, a, a visual representation. I can't believe you're having to explain an eggplant emoji dicks to me <laughs> on freaking <laughs> Let's Play I'm, channel. I'm very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> yeah. Ha! I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Hey, Brian. I'm Helix, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I looked over to Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Huh. Hi. Eh? Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Max Walsher sure loves the attention. <laughs> it's so cute, the doggy. It's great to see another father-daughter out here on such a sunny day. You're gonna tell me the dog's your daughter. This dog's my daughter. Okay. Where's yours? Right here, it's my dog. <laughs> he gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Ah. This is ah! Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Karamazov. <laughs> her teacher tells me that she has a reading comprehension of the skills of a high schooler. <laughs> I empathize. <laughs> How old is she? 22. Ah. <laughs> button. I was like, come on. <laughs> I can't hold on to this joke forever. <laughs> Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. 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 <laughs> my natural dad instinct kicks in. Uh -oh. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. <laughs> the music changed. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's happening. What is this? It's a mini game. What so there shit? are mini games throughout this one. Ex uh, I think especially what with What the hell him. is it? Gotta dad them all? What? Go on, Daisy. Tell them. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> about yourself. Um, I. That's my girl. <laughs> Amanda, get in there. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> So you got to brag off. I have brag off. Brag. Daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you have what, items what too. What kind of items do I have? Grade card, child art, band aid, spelling bee photo. <laughs> We're going to go with child art. And throw your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. <laughs> Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates your holding on to it. <laughs> Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. 
She's the president too, of course. <laughs> Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh no! Uh, it's time to rag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. That was 15, ouch! I'm just a little bit ahead of him. And I'm not gonna tell you how to do this, because it took me forever uh, to try and figure out how to beat him. That's a great card. I pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of my back pocket. Why do I have that? Because <laughs> you're a dad. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that everywhere? <laughs> Ouch, maybe it's kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. <laughs> Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! <laughs> We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Man, I can barely get one of those sticky things. <laughs> it's extra powerful! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, um... What's daughter? Can't switch daughters. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh no. Okay, let's brag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! <laughs> Did I mention Daisy said her her first word at ten months? Daddy. Of course it's daddy. Of course it's daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't time to bring it up. <laughs> I lose 10 HP. Oh, come on, We're just a little above. bit more. Yeah. I wonder what happens when, when you flee. The spelling bee photo! Just fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third Damn. win in a row! <laughs> I think he's got me. Yeah, I... Yikes, it was 5 HP. Oh, no, not bad. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he keeps going. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. And subconsciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. <laughs> it's extra powerful! It was 20 HP! Oh shit! He's got me! Uh, brag! Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brain loses 10! Oh, really? I'm actually take talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Mm. Mm. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. I lose 20 HP, I'm dead. Yep. He got me! He got me! There's Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah, oh, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? There, I think there's a very <laughs> specific way you have to go about that to beat him. Can, can you beat him? Yes, cool. I beat him once. I, I literally <laughs> restarted, like, uh, like saved right before I met him and just kept restarting because I wanted to know if you could beat him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But he's still just as you know, nice, and you still feel like you lost, so <laughs> it, it doesn't really make a difference. Mm, that's great. Yeah. Oh my god. Freaking dad off. That was great. <laughs> so I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? No. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. <clears throat> what a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world, yeah. Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? <laughs> what a lovely place. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Trottling. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Mm. Trying and succeeding? I can't believe the, that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe we've had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. <laughs> it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. <laughs> too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. 
Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic. We walk around the park a bit more. Enjoying the day. Yay. Um, let's go to the coffee shop. And I do want some coffee, and I do love me some coffee. Heck yeah. Gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Zoom. Don't eat too close to your bedtime. Don't you tell me what to do. I will sleep in my crumb-covered bed as much <laughs> as I want. That's not the problem. It's because it, it'll make you, it harder for you to sleep. Oh, the digestion. Explain a few things. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. <laughs> Apparently it's a, Apparently, a yeah, very it's a, good it's a stylish clothing, clothing store. No, I think it's this, in which Maybe. case these yeah. men want to eat every last one. No, that's got to be a bakery. Mm -hmm. hey. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Hey, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> coffee shops though yeah actually i kind of do too <clears throat> at least when i'm home some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and i won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's very much within my personal zone hmm. dad and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug is there a bin do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? <laughs> Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes! <clears throat> yes, Amanda! <laughs> <laughs> we walk inside. Huh? Oh, hi! Yeah! Hello! That's Matt. Maybe he wears his... his uh, watch really high on yeah, his arm. He does. <clears throat> Pretty big watch. Mm -hmm. Digging the tax though. Mm -hmm. And he's got glasses. What am I gonna do? He's got glasses. <laughs> he's very pretty. Mm, no, the inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to the little stage. Oh. I, yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do for him. Welcome to the co uh, that's that's my regular voice. Hey, <laughs> hey, welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? Just put on your retail voice. My retail. Oh, you don't want to hear my retail voice. <laughs> my retail voice is weirdly high pitched and it really childlike. Is. Hi, how are we doing? <laughs> Hi, can I get you anything? <laughs> hey, how are we doing today? Hello. <laughs> You doing all right? Do I sound fake enough yet? Do you need me to get to your room? <laughs> God! The things you do to survive your job. <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm sorry I can't return that. <laughs> it's been worn. I'm sorry, we're out today. We just don't have any more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're a total bitch. No, um. <laughs> Fucking get away from my bar. <laughs> Quit yes. eating out of the salad bar! Quit eating out of the salad bar! <laughs> God, okay. So, quick question, salad bar patrons. Why are you the worst? Absolute Just worst. Just the absolute worst? <laughs> you freaking animals. Get out of the barn you were raised in and learn some goddamn etiquette and stop sticking your bare ass hands in my salad bar! It's not even my salad bar! It's Produce's salad bar, but I'm gonna stand there and watch you do it! <laughs> it's nasty and it's not free, guys. God, yeah, no, it's, it's not. By it's by weight. Free. You it's are literally free. stealing. You are stealing and spoiling the rest of the stuff because we got to throw away everything you stuck your bare nasty ass hand into. Yeah. Okay, so on with. Uh -huh. uh, what's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like and... I thought it was a good idea at the time, and uh, I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Is he a hipster? Uh, somewhat. I can forgive that. Yeah. Though. He's a he's an interesting hipster, at least. 
<clears throat> but people ask me that all the time and I give them the same answer every time and now I'm standing here rambling and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now and I just can't stop. <laughs> That's, <Hey>. He's me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so uh, what'll it be? One coffee, please. Hmm. I scan the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have uh... <laughs> iced tea and it's Sarah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <clears throat> okay, now uh, I love chai, so we're gonna go with chai. Spicy. Ooh, <laughs> spicy dad. I'm pretty sure I that that's a given one. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Diant Word uh, is a South African rap group. Uh, they're pretty well known Whoa, for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper-stylized music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Just like me. <laughs> hey, uh... Dot, dot, dot. I'm doing the thing again. <laughs> You're cute. Yeah. Oh. But coming right up. I do the exact same and thing for you? again. I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. <laughs> yeah, all of the stuff is... <laughs> no, 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 no. I love the sizes. You, you just... Hey, uh... Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or big <laughs> smalls? <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Uh, medium. Huh. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I mean... Technically, you could just change it to Biggie, and we would still get it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. Those pastries look good too. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I don't know what that mound is, but it's a cookie. Is it a cookie? Yeah, I'm sure it's a like, cookie. Like that's a really deformed cookie it's, right no, there. No, 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 no. They're, they're like um, they're they're like those uh, uh Italian those wedding mound cookies, cookies. They're like they're oh. like round. Maybe gotcha. oh, maybe it's a uh, maybe it's one of those no scone. Bakes. It's a scone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. It's a scone. It's delicious. I, I, was, I was looking at the other things Whatever, and none of yeah, them are scones them are and there's scones, always, so a scone. Scone. Yeah. <laughs> always a scone. Yeah. Always a scone. There must be a scone. So. <clears throat> What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're c cooler bands than you listen to anyway. I can't even say that about my own dad. <laughs> no. His bands are cool. His bands are cool. <laughs> <laughs> he listens to Rush and... Uh, rush and, <laughs> and um, well, there's, there's also rush, rush. <laughs> uh, but no, no, he listens no, no, to he, like not, he, tool. Yeah, and, Papa likes prog rock. Yeah, prog rock and classic, yeah, classic, classic, classic rock. rock. Yeah, mm. yeah, which is what we were raised on. Yeah, pretty so. much. Yeah, so yeah, awesome, awesome music. Freaking awesome music. That you know is so longer than you are alive. Yeah, yeah, there's 17 long minute long songs and shit, yeah. you know, it's like, green grass and damn green tides. grass and hot tides, <laughs> Christ, oh man, yeah, no, no, okay, so, yeah, our music is cool, guys, really, we're cool, believe us, we're cool, we're, we're cool, we're cool, we're, we're hip, our, we're our cool. dad is cool, okay, <laughs> hot cool and no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Why are there no tips in his tip jar? Hey, yeah, there should be tips in it. No, there is. There is. is look, there? look, 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 look. Oh, there's you can some see change. Like, there's, yeah, there's. I thought that that was the like table. Thirty thousand pennies. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, Scott was cool once. <laughs> 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 the, the exact reason why my like dad's music for, is cooler than like mine. Like for two days. <laughs> <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to pe other people as you are. Are you trying to set me up? We just <laughs> met the guy. <laughs> you should totally become friends with him. Okay. She's uh, your, she's your, um, she's wingman. your friend wingman. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. What'd we say about meeting new people? That I don't like doing it. <laughs> I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Ah. See? We're making progress. That sets our drink down, drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, 
Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad. Dad? No. <laughs> Helix. Hey. Oh, right on. Uh, pleased to meet you both. Hey, uh... You ought to come by when my daughter's oh, hanging no. around, around the shop. All of them have kids. Do they kids. all have daughters? Yes. All of, well, no, all of them have kids. <laughs> okay. I mean, it wouldn't be a dream daddy if they didn't have a kid. Yeah, be, right. Was, yeah, that's the point. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. I might have kicked my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> you know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana oh, bread recipe yeah. and I need help coming up with a name mm. for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can then uh, get the full flavor profile. You know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations. And, uh, Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I mean, I think that would be a uh, commensurate with a... Uh... Talk to her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. <laughs> right, yes, that. That serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> I love it. I love all of the jokes oh, in this. Oh, yeah. So, uh, any ideas? I'm stumped. Bananarama! Ah, yes. <laughs> Fucking duh. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad, dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. So the only, like, there's... Right said banana bread. Oh! Uh, banana bread Kennedy's. <laughs> okay, no, it's right said banana bread. That's where I'm going with that. Oh, good. <laughs> I chose um, the banana bread Kennedy's. Apparently, he doesn't like the grateful bread. Oh, so okay. I <laughs> like I said, Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the extras would like it despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. <laughs> I wanted to say baby, but because but I thought I, it would uh, because I thought it would sound cool. But once I said it, I realized that it doesn't sound cool coming out of my mouth, and um, maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Guys, <laughs> <clears throat> cute. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches. Holy shit! That's Knife Dad. Who is it? Yes, that is Knife Dad. <laughs> That's the one that they chose the bright sunshine Danny to voice. Really? Yeah. Mm. Choose the brooding one and, you know, get the, you know, sweetest, most happy, joyful man to voice him. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be a hard decision. <laughs> he sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Hello. <laughs> if only you had glasses. <laughs> <laughs> does, does he ever have glasses? I don't know. I haven't mm. gotten that far into his story. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, I'll see you later, Hansel. Hey. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Uh, let's go unpack. I got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is that right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Do I smell bad? <laughs> and it gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. <laughs> Actually, that is a very real fear of mine. Oh, smelling that bad? I smell bad. You yeah. always smell fine. I know, like, like literally always. I always like people always tell me that I smell good or that I smell soft. And I'm, yeah, you do. And I'm just like, good. Always tell me how I smell. <laughs> always tell me how good. I don't know what it is. It's this weird. You just random kind of social fear oh, yeah, of no, mine. It is a basic social anxiety. But it, that's a like one of, of the only ones that I have. Like, I have no shame, guys. 
but damn if I don't want to smell good. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass, and I get some good work done. Look at the little horsey. Oh, the cute little horsey. I'm, I'm actually digging this little... The, this little I figured thing. you like, would. You, you knew I would love I this. I knew you would. The washer-dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Yay. Bing First visitor bong. already? So am I voicing all of the dads? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> I walk over to the door and open it. My voice is going to go, Hello! <laughs> really? Oh. Oh, God! And that's voiced by Aaron. That, I... I'm kind of scared of him. Yes, everybody is. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel so weird about it, then. Yeah. <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Nice. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. I, I could have sworn you'd be called Chad, but okay. <laughs> Chad or like a... Chet. Chet. Yes. <laughs> nice no. one, Chet. His wife's name is Mary, and he's the youth pastor, Joseph and Mary. His last name is Christensen. I hate it. All of his children are named Chris. No. His, his first son is Chris. His second son is Christian. No. His daughter is Christy. No. And his baby is Chris. No. No. He's one of those d bags. Get out of my house! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, hi, I'm Helix. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to tell to let you know she baked them herself. Wait a minute, his wife? Mm-hmm. And he's a love interest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't judging. Yeah. They, there are people that are, like, being really... Blah about it, but honestly, dude, if it, it's up to them, man. both of their like it's it's essentially there's a lot going on, and you'll hit, get hints of problems that oh. are going on in their relationship. Oh, that's too bad. And like both of them, like he's not. Both of them have their problems. Both of them are at fault in this relationship, and people yeah, are focusing. People are focusing too much on the fact that he cheats on her, then the fact that they both have issues that are going on that are not making this thing work. Oh. Neither of them are happy in this relationship. Oh, and I'm like, so sad. guys, that's so calm sad. your tits. This, he's a human being. He's well, I mean, not, he's not evil. But, you know. He's not a villain in this the canon. Like, calm your tits, guys. But everybody needs something to hate, and I'm going to get off this rant. <laughs> Because I could go on Ooh. forever. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Moving on. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled the chocolate chips. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we both share a laugh, kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? Oh, also, you need to listen to some of his, um, what are they called? Uh, like his surprise words because they're hilarious. So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plates of cookies with a smile. Hey. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, crackers. Oh, crackers? Cracker barrel. <laughs> Cracker barrel? And it disappears it's, with the cookies. They're all words or names. Mm. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. Well, that's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there had to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Open mouth, insert foot. Uh, I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh! Uh, I meant... Oh. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met in my social life is already in the tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick up the whole house and go. Oh, we Tailspin, no wheel. <laughs> that, that's, isn't that one of the ones that's getting a remake? No, no, it's no, DuckTales. DuckTales! Woo! Yeah! Okay, no, I heard through the grapevine, which is one of my friends on Tumblr, that Darkwing actual duck is going to show up yeah. in that show. And I, I know, I'm dying. so excited. I want to see! I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> Screw you, Isaac. I like Darkwing Duck. Yes. Darkwing Duck was awesome. It was a little fun. 
yeah. He also okay. had an awesome daughter. Yeah. Is the missus around? No. <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot. Mister, actually, and uh, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Mm. Oh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Oh no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. It's hard to do his voice with, like, super excited all the time. <laughs> After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your na new neighbor, <laughs> Joseph. I uh, promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cold sack, and I'd love for you to come. Well, you to come by and meet <laughs> the rest of our neighbors. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> we shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. What do I do for a living? I don't know. Joseph I don't starts walking away, know. but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising kids on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, winky face. <laughs> oh, God. But suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. <laughs> that was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> I sacrificed them All to the of cookie them. gone. Jesus, girl! She's, she's well, okay, at high she, school. Yeah, she's a teenager. Right. They're gone. I'm sorry. All right. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Oh, no. <laughs> so you ate all of them anyway. Sacrifice. <laughs> pew pew. Uh, I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? This probably wants his playback. I think we get a, good, a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. Wash it off first. Yeah, wash it first. <laughs> We're going to be the best neighbors in this whole cold sack. We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts. <laughs> With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Oh. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Hmm. I'd hazard a guess. Uh, it's the biggest, the big one with all... Uh, I'm having a hard time reading today, apparently. With all of the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. <clears throat> oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're super creepy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Come play with us, Helix. They actually Forever. make that joke. No! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just uh, wanted to um, return this nice plate. And thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Da, da, da. Hey, they were really good. Da, da, da. I mean, I, he I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> hmm? Well, okay. We're just gonna set this plate down and on the ground real gentle and then back way slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Huh. <laughs> Jeez. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Mm -hmm. You've been awake for what? Three hours? <laughs> and that's three hours too many. Woo! Yeah. That was some creepy kids. Yeah. Mm. The twins only get creepier. Oh, great. I mean, that one kid looked kind of sullen, but whatever. I mean, well, I mean, imagine the you're, oldest one in you're a, having... a youth well, minister's house, and you can, you're can you smart enough to know your parents are having it. Yeah. Kids. Like, I mean, like, kids, kids, so kids, kids know. know. They Kids know. No, never stay in. A, they know. They freaking know. Never stay in a relationship that you are obviously you are unhappy in uh, for your kids, quote unquote, because yeah, they, they it'll know. screw okay, them. Okay, they freaking know. Like, make sure that 
if you guys do separate or, or are, um, you know, divorce or whatever, that, yeah, you both um, keep connected with your kids and all that and make sure it's not a dirty um, divorce or anything like that. But don't stay together because you're going to get more and more bitter. Yeah. And kids and pick up on that it. stuff so it. easy so and smart. they're going to blame themselves. That's just the way it is. Yeah. So don't As do we're it. walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Uh-oh. <laughs> Helix, bro! Uh, hey. hey. Oh, my God! Yeah, he's pretty. And the baby's baby. so adorable. <laughs> oh, my God! There's a lot of bro dude. Okay. With this guy. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Oh, I know him. Yes. Craig? That's not a Craig. No, that's totally a Chad. No, 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 no. That's like a... Brett. That's like a Justin. Justin or Brett, I think. Yeah. Brett would be good. Mm-hmm. Bro! Bro? Oh. Holy... Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm-hmm. It's been way too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. What? What was he before? You'll see. Cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. (laughs) Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're big now. (laughs) So big now. He's cute. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Hmm. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. <laughs> oh my god. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California nice. and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Okay, so we're in Maple Bay. We're in, yes. Where the heck freaking Michigan is Maple Bay. Is it in Michigan? It's on a bay. Is it a heck freaking it's, Michigan? It's a bay. Okay. So I'm thinking it's probably like uh, in a on the East Coast. It could be, but I, I mean, like, like they have bays on the, the Great Lakes. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. There's like, there's a point in time when you go onto a yacht, I guess. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Maybe? Some Maybe place it's... that has nice clean towns like the Yeah. We're saying Maine or Michigan. Yeah. One of those two. Yeah, Maine or Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Missouri. <laughs> On the river. <laughs> There's no Everything is sludge. <laughs> yeah. You have to fight off a freaking... Um, like a bobcat. <laughs> bob- no, you have to You have to fight a... Uh, wrestle a catfish. Wrestle a catfish it. that's as big as you. Yeah, really. <laughs> There's, There's no place this clean in Missouri. No, absolutely not. Even our cleanest, cleanest places. Even Roman Street still Yeah, even Roman Street has grime. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to the side of town. How Smashly do we? <laughs> Smashly. Oh. I mean Ashley. Ashley is her name. She's actually still going by Smashly. Uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Nice. It's old news. Uh... We're, we're taking turn. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Hmm. Fifteen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't life something, bro? Right? Kegstand Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Kegstand Craig? Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and, and then drink from the keg? Right. He was very good at it. <laughs> ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really got to keep my heart rate up. Uh, brought River along for, you know, resistance training. <laughs> She's blowing a bubble. Yeah. She's you dog Jaylee? I jog. <laughs> you dog Jaylee? You dog Jaylee? <laughs> that was great. I, I jog you. Yearly. On January 1st, I promised myself I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but I give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. Uh, you should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Come on, it'd be fun. Uh, we could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up, 
We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Brunch. All right, sure. Br Sounds great. Dude, it ain't a date. It's brunch. Uh, <laughs> great. Let's get that going soon. <laughs> Better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbud back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I am reeling. Mm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. <laughs> That's college! Yeah, pretty much. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it. Like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. <laughs> and then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie bro. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. <laughs> he jogs. He was jogging. Mm -hmm. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. I mean, I flop down on the couch. I mean, I have to shove some, some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Oh. Too bad we're gonna be putting this stuff, my stuff, back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say mm -hmm. that. No, don't say that! <laughs> that was beautiful, sir. <laughs> so that's the thing that just happened. Aw, <laughs> Dad and Soraya. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come and visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yes. A dog? Yeah. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Until <laughs> <laughs> last. Well, it depends on what dog you're getting. Right. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. <laughs> Speaking of college... <laughs> Emmett darts over the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yes. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Never heard of it. Open it. Hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <sighs> yeah, it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth! <laughs> we have a letter opener, but okay! Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda, our, Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee is... Um, we... Mm. Her face drops. Mm, I regret to inform you that you're unable to offer admissions to McGowan Art and mm, oh. <laughs> shows the letter on the coffee table. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Uh, it's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me that they just want to see portraits or whatever. An art school that only wants to see portrait, portraits or whatever is a bullshit art school. You don't school. want to go to that art school anyway. They're just literally pulling your money and you're not going to get a job from them. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Honestly, Amanda, you should just build your portfolio and not bother with school. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine? Or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine. Really? Her face is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh. Oh. And before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ah. So. You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently, conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have to place to yourself. Ah. Yeah? What are you, your plans? Quick, think of plans. <laughs> Basically, I'm here of this town, going to the union meeting, going clubbing. Uh, this is probably the most believable of those things, but I really want to say this. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. <laughs> I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Oh. Mm, he was not. Right. 
Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... watch the game. Nice. Hmm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. Ugh. The game on TV. It's somewhere other than here. Hmm. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. That's totally what we do. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. I had shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Nah. I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about doing drugs <laughs> in crime, right? <laughs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> I gave her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Eh? All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's going to arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops hmm. me. Hey, don't forget that you have a meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Okay, we want, might want to stop here. Okay. It's long, a little longer to meet all Next of the dads. Next time on the buddy system. We'll meet the rest, we'll meet of, the the dads. rest of the dads. Yes, because I forgot how long it takes to meet all the goddamn dads. <laughs> so many dads. So many dads. All right. All dads all the time. See ya, everybody. See ya. Is that our dad? <laughs> <laughs> it's 444, so I wouldn't imagine. It imagine should it. not be our dad. No, it's not our dad. Our dad is more of a six, six o'clock person. Let me go I'm covered with mosquito bites, my goodness gracious. They're just everywhere. Yeah. I think Amber's got mosquitoes worse than we do. <laughs> they have more of your blood than you do. <laughs> they stole my blood!